How's it going guys, RXXC aka the Raging Cajun here, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a Bakugan video. Uh, for the Digimon people who've been sticking around, uh, if you're interested in the new Bakugan reboot, stick around for this video. If not, I'm calling back to my old fans. Um, yeah, it's been a while, um, and I need to talk to you guys, because <laughs> I haven't talked to you in a while, because I've been doing the whole Digimon thing. Um, I have not abandoned you. I have not abandoned you whatsoever. Uh, recently, I've been pretty active with... Bakugan on Twitter and stuff. Um, if, if you're really interested in what I have to say and everything, make sure you're following me on Twitter and that goes for everybody. I haven't really done a, an actual in-depth look at Geogon um, and I came across something that's actually going to make that a little better. So what I found was, first of all, a Slugler, which is a new Geogon. Um, you'll probably seen this thing around, but what I also found was Diamond Slugler. So, what we're going to do is actually open these two up and see the difference, because first glance, eh, it's not too much, and it being a diamond and not completely translucent is a little different. Um, so, first of all, since I haven't really done this yet, packaging-wise, I really like what they're doing with Geogon. Um, it's really, like, they changed the shape, and it's very much more boxy than it was. It's not, it doesn't have, like, the big, um like protrusions at the bottom where they're holding the cards and stuff and i just think it works a little better um and when you go to the back it's kind of all the same uh and you have your little png of slugler there uh he's a pretty cool dude um not very round i will say not round at all <laughs> but uh it's a geocon and we'll kind of talk about that as we open these thing up so i'm going to open up both of these guys and we're going to take a quick look and i also have a couple other bakugan that i am going to kind of open really quickly. Um, I found some other Geogon. Uh, so let's open these guys up and take a look. All right guys, so we opened up the regular Slugler here and we're gonna take a look at him uh, in all of his glory here in a second with the diamond one, just to kind of directly compare them. Uh, but packaging uh, contents, unless I'm missing something, uh, there are no Baku cores with the Geogon, um, which, I mean, who cares? We all have Baku cores at this point. <laughs> um, Plenty of them, in fact, uh, but gate uh, gate card, I almost said gate ruler, <laughs> whoops, I, I don't even know anything about that game. Anyway, um, you get the Darkest Batrix gate card here, so Darkest Batrix gate card, uh, there's your numbers, and of course, uh, the back is the regular Bakugan card here. Um, if I have the time, guys, I want to do a video on uh, Bakugan Melee format, which uh, was derived from uh, Jet Kuzo himself. Um, it actually seems really fun. Uh, I'm going to review the rules and if I have time I want to try to get a game out of that. Uh, it does look really fun. Um, the TCG isn't really speaking to me at this point. I think we can all understand why it's not. Um, but toy wise uh, these things come into play a little bit more with uh, Jet's cool concept there. Anyway, um, okay, so this is something I've been wanting to talk about, and I'm glad I'm doing the video. So, um, there's this card, Raging Claw, and I'm not trying to be that guy, okay? I'm not trying to be that guy, but would they really have spelled Raging that way? Like, why would it be Raging Claw if they weren't trying to, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, come on now. Of course... Of course, this has to be referencing me, right? Right? I'm not trying to be that guy. And I haven't really been making Bakugan content lately, so I hope I hope I'm not just being the loser who thinks so. But Ragin' Claw? And there's also like Baku Briar for Briar 626? Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. That one, maybe not so much. But Ragin Claw? Jin? Ragin Claw? Not Ragin? Come on now. Um four energy for 800 i don't know numbers anymore for this game but i don't know if that's what you want to be doing with darkest um let's actually save the slugler character card for when we look at the other one and we can actually see the diamond evo and what it does so i'm going to open up the diamond one let's take a look and, all right we got the diamond one opened up and i'm kind of concerned about something but we'll get to that in a second gate card wise uh you have this uh chaos matrix with his gear sorry my face show the card there you go um do with that information what you will. Looks like it's leaning more towards Chaos and Darkus. Weird combination of things, but there you go. Uh, and of course the back is the Bakugan. Logos. All right, so this one comes with uh, Body Crusher, which is a one cost 
uh, four damage and um, magnifying glass over card. I don't know what these things mean, folks. <laughs> uh, but there you go. Um, is that just look at the top card of your deck? I don't really know. I haven't reviewed the rules recently. So, sorry if you're not getting the same uh, bang for your buck on the Rage and Cajun YouTube channel. Uh, but I have no idea what this means. Um, one energy, minus four damage against something, and look at a card of some kind. I don't know what to tell you. But, so, uh, what we were here for, let's look at the difference. So, it's looking like Slugler is a two cost to play Geogon. Now... For those of you who for some reason are watching this video and have not ever experienced Geogon yet, um, you're not watching the right YouTubers currently because there are plenty other Baku tubers really keeping up with this stuff. Um, and two, um, I'll just tell you how they work. So in any opportunity that you have to re-roll a Bakugan, uh, you can instead choose to pay this amount for this card. You can pay for this card, so you're paying two, to play Slugler, and all you do is from a card length away from the table, you can drop Slugler and let him open, and he is your active Bakugan for the turn. Um, so this is basically a one turn Evo for anything, and obviously um, it, to play this card you have to be playing that faction somewhere in your deck. But let's say you need a Darkus for some reason, you could drop your Darkus if you were rolling out a Pyrus. I don't know, something like that. Um, so, uh, Slugler is a two cost to play. 504 has Shadow Strike, and if you land on a Magic Shield, it's plus 900. Um, and so those Magic Shields, I'm sorry, Helix. It's been a while. Uh, Helix, you get plus 900, and I'm pretty sure those Helixes go to like 500 or 600? <laughs> wow, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Anyway, you're making big numbers here for two. Uh, I think uh, Darkest Slugler here uh, is one of the ones people were a little more excited about, um, playability-wise, uh, because he is something. So, let's see what happens when you pay seven to evolve this guy into Diamond Slugler. Just kidding. That's not how these work. Haha, <laughs> I psyched you out. Or is it actually the fact that I just didn't know how these cards work? Um... <laughs> The Diamond Geogon are their own thing. They, uh, there is no evoing a Geogon. Um, so this is actually just a whole different thing. So you are paying seven to get 1,515. So there he is, the Diamond Slugler card. All right, so, and there is regular Slugler. So you have a nice comparison here. Um, the diamond card is a little bit different looking, kind of. Oh, no, I'm not even looking at the right one. No, definitely not. Uh, it is. It does have the rare treatment, so it is embossed at the top. Uh, but other than that, there's nothing else really going on here. Um, so again, diamond slugler and darkest slugler there. Okay, so uh, now that we got that out of the way, um, the part that really doesn't appease me anymore, um, we have the toys, and so, uh, we're gonna take a look at both, uh, again, to get a decent comparison. We'll use our Darkest Bactrix card here, um, and we're gonna hold this up. And again, the way you play with these Geogon is you're going to hold them, uh, a card length away from your playing area, uh, on top of the thing you want to open on, and you're just gonna drop them. So, for this Slugler, I'm gonna hold it here. I'm gonna go right here, and we're gonna play with our toys. There you go. So, this is Darkest Slugler. All right, so trying to get a good look at him here. This is Darkest Slugler. He's actually a lot bigger than I originally thought. Um, he covers up the whole card. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. So Baku core wise, uh, he's gonna be covering up a bunch of space. It doesn't matter. People thought that these would be used for like blocking maybe on the on the play surface, but it's it's really not. Um, they're more for just picking up cores. And, and, a, and a thing that a lot of people are saying with these things is of course that you can just steal cores 
uh, and get your opponent's cores easily away from them. Um, so, you know, steal them magic shield they don't need. Or for uh, slug this Slugler here, um, you know, uh, steal a Helix, which would help you and in turn, obviously, uh, steal it away from your opponent. So this is the regular Slugler. Um, this is Diamond Slugler here. I'm having a problem, okay, uh, with getting his ass to stay closed. <laughs> I, I think he's broken, or maybe, I just don't understand how to close him, but let's see here. Uh, I think you tilt this thing in the back back, and you close it up like that. Hold on. Yeah, that's very easy to close, um, and I think we have an issue with my diamond one. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have Diamond Slugler. What your difference is here is the translucent plastic um, is actually uh, a different color. Um, so on regular Slugler, uh, it is, he is a black Bakugan with uh, purple translucence, uh, but this one's actually reskinned to where the black parts on the original one, the black parts on the original one uh, have been turned purple, kind of like they used to do in the olden days. Uh, so there's a good look at him there. Uh, and that's your difference. Obviously, your uh, little uh, symbol there is the gold for the diamonds. Excuse me, your little darkest symbol. Uh, it's gold, like the new diamonds from the new series. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at him open. Hello. Uh, all right, let's get him ready here. Of course, on the bottom of the Geogon, you have this odd looking symbol here. Uh, shows you where you need to drop the map. And same thing, we're gonna come from here, drop, and he opened before he hit the ground. Because like I said, I think this damn thing is broken. But here you are, guys. Uh, this is Diamond Darkest Slugler. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, I definitely think I like this one more than the other. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Um, see if I can get the other one open here and we can get a good look. All right, so good look at both here. And there is your comparison. Um, I don't know, maybe the normal one over here is more of my favorite. What do you guys think? Put us in the comments what you guys prefer. I think I'm, I think I'm leaning towards this one actually, even though, you know, these are your chase, your chase figures. I don't know. I think I like the translucent green. I think I would have liked it more if they put the translucent green on the black one over here. I'd love to see that, like a custom maybe. Take the pieces off and do that. Who knows? Um, Playability-wise, I'm not sure the ruling on uh, if you want to use a Darkest Slugler card, if you have to use the Darkest Slugler figure, or the you can use you know any version of it, so these two. Um, I don't know. That's not really... Something I know, I would look it up. Maybe one of the other Baku tubers out there uh, can help you answer that question. But anyway, um, so this is Slugler. This is kind of the main event of the video. I just really wanted to do this, but I do have um, two other Geogon I wanted to show off. So this is just gonna be really quick. Um, if you were here for Slugler, thank you for sticking around. If not, stick around for some bonus talking uh, while I stare at some translucent figures. See ya. All right, so since we're kind of into some bonus content here, I do want to kind of talk to you guys. Haven't been in the Bakugan uh, realms here in a while, so I appreciate you guys being here, especially sticking around to the end of the video here. Um, I I have been enjoying the Digimon TCG quite a lot, guys. Uh, it is a game that I am finding that I am kind of good at, uh, even if you're watching my videos and you don't believe me. Uh, locally, I'm playing quite well, uh, so it's just kind of against my nature to ignore something that I'm succeeding in, uh, kind of the reason, you know, I was happy to keep pursuing this channel uh, earlier, um, but we're going to keep doing this stuff periodically, um, and, you know, I really love these Geogon toys. I think they're really cool. Uh, we're opening up a Pyrus Arcleon here. Uh, this is Dan's new partner. Um from what I believe and what I'm told. This one is a one cost to play Geogon. That's 900, two with double strike. So I don't know, uh, put it onto a magic shield and you know, maybe 
that helps you. Uh, maybe your your second person in your team isn't an Aquas Hydrus, <laughs> and it's a Pyrus that's not as strong, and you're waiting for an Evo. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but uh, one cost to play cards uh, have some sort of value usually. Uh, so maybe this is a thing. So this is Arc Leon, uh, and this is a two cost plus 400 B uh, ability card, action card. What are they? Called? I'm going between games here. Baku action card. Uh, action card. Um, so that seems okay, but that's Arc Leon there. Uh, and you get a uh, Auralis uh, Treaderous uh, melee card here. Alright, so that's 700 Pyrus, 700 Auralis, 700 Ventus. So this is actually a pretty cool card. You don't want to give your opponent too many points though. Um, so kind of be selective. Alright, so this is one um, that I'm the most excited for. I love the design of this figure more than all the other ones. So let's uh, let's get in close here. Hey, how you doing? Um, we're going to go and show you Arc Leon. All right, so uh, he is the cube, okay? So you can see him here. He is all cubey. This is him in his cubey form. Uh, and symbols here, so we're going to drop him. And this is one of my favorite ones here. So three, two, one, Geogon, Geo Brawl. Hey, yeah, all right. Yeah, so these are all bigger than they seem. Um, just gonna get a quick spin around here to show you this Arc Leon. Yeah, man, this one is cool. Uh, big fan of Arc Leon, man. I'm like, a, I like lions, and this one's like a lion with wings, so like, dope right <laughs> um but yeah look at this thing the translucent plastics all over his head and on this like main area here so it's really shiny and cool um which i'm a real big fan of oh oh he didn't finish transforming here okay so if you just drop him these legs oh he's even cooler <laughs> so these legs at the bottom actually pop out when you lift him up so i guess display wise he's pretty cool but there is his full form. Yeah. I like that. That is sweet. All right. So here's Arc Leon. Um, these do have holes for uh, Baku gear, which I don't have on hand. Yeah, I do have one. Uh, the little darkest gun. Uh, the Geogon have the holes for that. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to give your Arc Leon a blicky. Uh, and he does have a hole on his tail back here. If you want to give him a gun on his tail. Uh, but that's cool. Anyway, yeah, man, love this thing. Check it out. Arc Leon, Dan's new partner. Big fan. Uh, again, his character card is here. Uh, and that is what you're working with, folks. Pretty cool. Big fan of Arc Leon. Um, might try to get like a Ventus one if it's possible. I haven't checked the uh, character sheet. Do, do like my Ventus boys. Uh, but yeah, cool. So I have one more of these things. Y'all stick around. Uh, and I'll show it off to you, but big fan of Arc Leon. Let's go to the next one. All right, so this next one, and I'm very close here because I'm too lazy to zoom my camera out. This next one is uh, a Stardox, and I wanted this one because of the, the sculpt is so uh, unique. Um, it's actually more of like a pyramid, but like a, a hexagon pyramid. Did I just break it? No, I didn't. I thought I pretty close to breaking it, actually. All right, so... Um, I'm spoiling it for me. I'm spoiling the opening. Hold on. Please wait. Please hold, folks. There we go. All right, cool. He's good. Anyway, yeah, so... All right, this is too much. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, the Geogon figures, man, are just cool. Uh, they're, they're a little more... I'm sorry, this is like... A little more dynamic um, than... The Bakugan, obviously, because they're not having to come out of a ball, but they are having to come out of, like, geometric shapes that are a bit strange. So I'm sure the design process and the folks over at Spin Master, like Mikey and them, uh, had a fun time coming up with these things. Because, uh, I don't know, Mikey's the best. I love Mikey. I doubt you're watching this, but hello, sir. You are a cool man. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I, I like these things. Uh, I'm going to pull these cards out here. Alright, and we have a somewhat of a... Yeah, so this is an Orlis 
Pyravian, which is another dead Bakugan, just like Trox and Pegatrix and all the other fun Bakugan. They're all dead. Uh, but there's your Pegatrix gate. I mean, um, uh, I said it a second ago. Not whatever, the bird. Um, anyway, so this is coming with a Cloak Defense, which is a four cost, uh, that same symbol again, and draw three. Is that draw three for four? Interesting. Um, cloak Defense here. Uh, it's got that Manta Ray Bakugan, which uh, I will be picking up as soon as it's available. I think that's going to be like a Wave 2 situation. But man, that guy's cool. Uh, we can kind of see him on like the uh, sheets. Um, so this is Stardox, a 4 cost to play Geogon that is 1,405 uh, with Frost Strike. And if you're on a Magic Shield, you get a little more damage. Um, so not sure of the worth on this for playability-wise. Again, been out of the game for a little bit, but... Um, I'm here for the toys, boys. So, all right, so we're gonna use this. So here he is. This is Stardox, and he is a, a pyramid thing. <laughs> uh, he's really cool though. You got the, the symbol there, aqua symbol. Um, and he's like rounded on the bottom, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm really excited for this one because of his crazy transformation. If you saw his character card, he kind of looks like his character card. So we're going to take it. Uh, this seems to be the front this way. So here we go. Geogon. Three, two, one, drop. Hey, there he is. Look at this thing. It's a star. It's like a starfish. This thing's cool, man. I love these Geogon things. Like genuinely, I'm not, I'm not putting it on or anything. They're actually really cool figures just for collector's purposes. But like, look at them. Look at his eye. Could put it over my eye. Is that weird? <laughs> yeah, so this little eye thing is jiggly and wiggly. You can do the little eye tickle. Throwing it back to the early days of the channel. Feet tickle? Anyone? Does anybody remember that? Comment if you remember the feet tickle. That was a thing. I was trying to make that a thing. Nobody ever said anything about it in the comments. I just kept doing it. I thought it was funny. Does anyone remember the feet tickle? Anyway, Stardock's here. Really cool. I really like the design. He's huge. I mean, compared to Slugler, Slugler's actually pretty big too. Like width-wise, they're both big. But just overall surface-wise, obviously this thing's gonna cover more because um, he's a giant freaking starfish. So anyway, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. That is Stardox. I think he's neat. Uh, I hope you guys do too. Um, but for this video, it kind of drug on longer than I thought, but uh, I did want to open these things. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here. I know my Bakugan people probably miss me. I miss you. I, I still lurk in all the discords and stuff. I'm still in the discords. I still hear what y'all saying, and I, you know, I really appreciate y'all still coming back to the channel, even now when it's been flooded with an entirely different game. Um, and I really appreciate y'all. Y'all giving me everything I have so far, uh, and I, I want to keep doing you know, little videos like this to, you know, show my appreciation for my fans. Uh, this has nothing to do with Bakugan. Um, uh, the only thing I think I still have coming to me uh, from Bakugan is uh, Arcleon is going to have a limited edition. So we were told it's Spin Master. Can't necessarily trust what they're telling us. Uh, but there's an Arcleon that's going to be a limited edition that I think we're getting. Uh, and I'm, that's if that comes soon, that'll probably be my next Bakugan video because I'm really excited about that because I do highly enjoy this figure I, I think it's sick it's so cool but anyway thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it um if you have not yet make sure you follow me on twitter uh also on instagram it's raging cajun games i think um i post all kinds of random stuff i've been collecting some venom stuff um and so i'm going to be posting that stuff there uh and also i've been reading venom uh from donnie cates uh from the start and it's amazing uh, i might be talking about that on there a lot too so anyway Thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate it. I miss y'all. I'm still here. We'll be back again. See y'all later.